Love is a beautiful thing when you close your eyes to it. It is an amazing feeling that blows one's mind just like the wind blows away the light and gathers it to a roar. They see it in the air yet it's rare and unseen. The rare part is the most bitter part because you either get to experience it so poisonly or not experience it at all. And the end of the day, it's just everyone trying to make it in this thing called love. When they say you can't get pushed to the wall, the end line, that used to be just a scene until I got pushed to that wall. Have you ever been so desperate in love that your whole being is cut and burned like the hot sun? Have you ever walked on hot sun barefoot? Well, it's that same unexplainable feeling when you have so much pain from loving and not being loved back. But the difference is, you feel it deep down your heart. You feel it cutting down your heart. I really wish the heart being what, what it wants. But we can't change that, can we? Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. Can I go in? Do you have an appointment? If I don't, will I be here? Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Save your apology. Okay. Hello, sir. Somebody is here to see you. Okay, sir. Okay, madam, you can go in. Miss Mindora, sit down, please. Welcome. How are you today? Good to see you. How does uh, being here make you feel? Honestly, it feels weird being here. Okay. I mean, talking to somebody I don't know from anywhere, telling the person how I feel, it feels actually really weird for me to be here. A friend of mine recommended therapy, hence my coming here. But what guarantee do I have that this would uh, even work? Listen, Miss Mindora, I cannot guarantee you success with the process unless you agree to be receptive to things I say. Already, it's obvious you have a, a defensive wall set up around you, don't you? No, no, I'm not being defensive. Okay. I'm not. Prove it. Talk me through your challenges, Miss Mendoa. Okay. I started dating when I was 22. Mm -hmm. And all the guys I've dated are actually test books comes. Oh, no. And this last one broke me. We were meant to have a date and... You know, he was running late. I figured he was running late. I mean, that's what I thought. And I happened to just, you know, walk into Instagram and I bumped into his live Instagram video. <laughs> and that bastard was actually getting married. He married somebody, some chick he told me not to bother about. That same chick he got married to. Oh no. After promising me so much, I gave Femi seven good years of my life. He took a part of me. And the only thing he could do was say sorry. Like sorry could like sorry could it. Like sorry, like sorry could just take away everything. I'm sorry. Why did he have to be so wicked? Miss Mandora. I'll say this, okay? Last, do not let anyone from your past affect your future negative. I need you to look at me. Okay? You all right? Give me your hands. You're gonna be fine. We've come to the end of this session, all right? So, I'll see you in our next session, all right? Thank you. Have a good day. All right, Miss Mendoa. Well, I'm not stalking anymore, mm. so I guess I'm making progress. progress. Yeah. Hey, Doc, how you doing? I am very fine today. You look very good. Thank you, you thank you, thank you, thank you. excited today. I like this. Yeah, better than I expected. Guess what? Sure. 
So I met this amazing guy. He's fine. Um, let's 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 say what do we call him? Let's call him Mr. X. Let's call him Mr. X. He's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you're sure you don't rush into any other thing right now? I mean, you know why we're here. You know why you're here. I'm just doing my job, you know. I know, I know, but he's fine. Apart from that, he also pays attention to you know little details about me. But anyways, let's do something different today. Like what? How about I make you dinner? <laughs> yeah, let me cook for you. Mindura, yeah? I am your therapist and I have a code of conduct. So your code of conduct prevents you from eating good food? Like Amala and Iwedo. I mean, let me cook for you. Let me do something for you. Indora. Yes. I insist. I never tell a woman no, so I insist. Yeah. Mindora. Yes. <laughs> What you just happened? Uh, Ellie, what's going on? See, Mr. S just asked me out. Of course, I didn't say yes, but you know I'm friends because I'm going to definitely say yes. But I'm super, super, super excited. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I. Just... Indora, I. Oh. 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 Why did you kiss me? What was that all about? I don't know how to explain this, but it felt so right. It feels so right. I, I come to this office every day looking forward to just to seeing you. I, I come to this office every day looking forward to our sessions. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm in love with you, Mindora. I don't know how to explain it, but... I am in love with you. But you know that there's someone else. You shouldn't be saying this. Mindora. Someone else, Mindora, Mr. X. Same Mr. X we talked about. He's going to be your next ex, Mindora. Let me treat you like a priceless gem that you are. You deserve the best. Give me this chance. Give me the chance to love you. Give me the chance to treat you right. Please. Mindora. Mindora. What do you do when you no longer have control? Well, I do nothing. I just let everything that is supposed to happen, happen. We never choose who to or not to fall for. Sometimes it's just the heart magnetic force that makes you so attached to someone. And it's the best feeling ever. Even if you've been there before and you didn't like the outcome, you just get a feeling that things are going to be different and maybe it won't hurt. Maybe, just maybe it won't hurt if you just give it a chance. Well, that is it. That's if the feeling becomes mutual. And I think, this time around, it is.
enough? Hey, you've given me the best experience ever. And you made me feel deep. You made me love with you. And I would really love to experience this fantasy with you, but the truth is that I just feel like I'm setting myself up for another fall. I'm sorry I had to do this. Oh, come on, Midori. Please don't do this. This is you trying to sell sometimes. Don't do this. Please come on. Don't, don't, don't try to psychoanalyze me. I'm done with therapy. I'm done with our sessions. Mindora. Goodbye, Kuni. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? I feel so miserable. <laughs> so patched up. So drowned into my own waters. So sunk in sand. Why did I just let go? I have never in my whole life felt so wrong. Never felt like I made this stupidest mistake. I think life takes a way to teach, to value and to treasure when it's still there. To hold on to what's meant to be ours, even if it's never a guarantee that it's ours. It won't hurt to make it ours even for a second to behold. I wish I could make him mine, but you know what they say about wishes? If they were horses, then beggars ride on them. And I miss you, Kunle. And I love you, Kunle. And I'm so sorry that I didn't even get a chance to even say it to you. But I love you. And I miss you so much.